Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install version 25H2 on your Windows 11 computer because of this error code that is 0x800F0E31. Now the first step is to install this update. Now for this, you can go to Microsoft Update Catalog website. So you can search for Update Catalog and then just type in Microsoft Update Catalog in Google search and then go to the Microsoft Update Catalog website, write down the name of the update that is KB5064081 and then click on search. Now over here, and let me change the language, language is different over here. Now over here, uh, right now your Windows version is 24H2, so you have to download the right one. So, Windows 11 version 24H2 for x64 based system. You can check what kind of system you have. You can go to system over here and then go to about. For me, it's x64. So for me, it's Windows 11 version 24H2 x64 based system. Click on download and then you can install this KB5060. 5064081 click on it and then you can run this file once the download is complete click on it and follow the on screen instruction to update this update manually and you can even install this kb5043084 and then update it and then restart it and after the system restart you can open windows settings and then try to update still you are receiving the error the next step is to pause and restart the update so you can open windows update and then First of all, if you see retry option, hit retry and then check if that does not work. You can pause the update, click on pause and then hit resume updates and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run SFC and DISM command. Now for this type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Copy the first command and then paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Now the scan will take some time. Once the scan is 100% complete, so right now it's here you can see it's running. Once this is 100% complete, copy the second command and then paste it on the same window. And once the second scan is 100% complete, restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to start these services. Type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find app readiness. Make a double click on app readiness. Set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now make a right click on app readiness and then click on restart. Now find windows update, scroll down here you can see windows update, make a double click, set this to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted then click on OK. Again make a right click, click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, again set this to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK, make a right click and then click on restart. And once this is done, try to update, still not working. The next step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant. For this, you can open this link in a browser, it will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant, click on download now and then run this exe file. Now once you run the exe file, click on yes to allow and if there is any update, you will see update option or install option, you install it and then you can check. Still not working, the next step is to use fix problems using Windows update for this open Windows settings. Go to Windows update and then go to, let me click on retry over here. Yeah, now you can go to advanced option over here and then go to recovery option and over here you can see fix problems using Windows update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is done, now you can try to update to version 25H2 and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, again, go to Microsoft website. Here you can see media creation tool. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Now, once you run this exe file, uh, you will see this screen. You have to click on accept over here and then by default Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next and then select ISO file over here and then click on next. Save it to desktop 
save and then let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once it is done, click on finish. Once you click on finish, let it close automatically. Do not close this manually. It will take few seconds to close. And then you can go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file, make a double click on setup file, run the setup file, click on yes to allow, and then click on next, click on accept over here. And then here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so hit install after the installation log into the computer and then you can go to windows update and then try to update so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to update your windows 11 to version 25 h2 so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel